The logic board is the brains of the garage door opener. It contains the RF receiver for the remotes and other control components. If the remote controls don't work or the garage door doesn't open or close properly, the logic board may have failed. You can replace the logic board using the steps in this video. Wear work gloves to protect your hands. Now, let's get started. Unplug the garage door opener, or turn off the house circuit breaker for the garage door opener. Pull the emergency release rope to release the trolley. Shut the garage door if it's not already closed. Remove the fastener ring from the straight door arm connected to the outer trolley. Pull out the clevis pin while supporting the straight arm to disconnect the garage door from the outer trolley. Lower the straight and curved arms down and rest them against the garage door. Open the light cover to access the wall control and safety sensor wires connected to the motor unit. Disconnect the wall control and safety sensor wires from the motor unit. Close the light cover. Remove the nuts, bolts, and lock washers that secure the motor unit to the ceiling bracket. Support the motor unit with one hand as you remove the last bolt from the ceiling bracket. Carefully lower the motor unit and rest it on your work table. Remove the fastener ring from the header bracket clevis pin. Pull the clevis pin out of the rail and header bracket while supporting the rail with one hand. Lower the rail and rest it on a rung of the stepladder so the rail is level with the motor unit on your work table. Remove the light cover and light bulb from the control panel. Remove the screws from the control panel and pull it out slightly to access the wire connections. Disconnect the wires from the logic board. Remove the logic board mounting screws. Pull the logic board off the control panel. Push the antenna wire through the hole in the corner of the control panel. Position the new logic board on the control panel. Install the mounting screws in the new logic board. Connect the wires. Reinstall the control panel on the motor unit and secure it with the mounting screws. Reinstall the light bulb and light cover. Reconnect the rail end to the header bracket using the clevis pin and fastener ring. Carefully set the motor unit on top of the stepladder. Reinstall the motor unit to the ceiling bracket using the nuts, bolts, and lock washers. Open the light cover to access the wall control and safety sensor terminals on the motor unit. Reconnect the wall control and safety sensor wires to the motor unit. Close the light cover. Reconnect the straight door arm to the outer trolley using the clevis pin and fastener ring. Re-engage the trolley. Plug in the garage door opener or turn on the house circuit breaker.